Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Disney Legacy Challenge Generation 4, which is Slife and Beauty. Um, <laughs> part, I don't know. I never know. Where's. Okay, so I've started keeping a little sticky note of like what part goes up on. Like what part this is. And I didn't have the sticky note in front of me. So it's part 31. I believe. Uh, so, in this part, I want to finally get Christopher and Rose together. Uh, we'll save Carson. I was going to call him Celeste. I'm still, like, really upset that didn't work out. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Carson and Briar together. We're going to save that for another part. Um, we're just going to focus on Christopher and Rose for today. So, I've had them talking. They are now best friends and yeah so let's go ahead and give Rose some romantic flowers um I am still sick I can't tell it's kind of just developed more into it I just really have a cough and like a runny nose it's not really like much of a sinus infection my stomach bug went away really fast so like that's not the problem again it's just this cough and a runny nose like, it actually has gotten me sent home early the past two days from work. And part of me doesn't mind. The other part of me is like, that's less money in my paycheck. Um, especially when, like, I'm not sick, but they, like, my boss swears up and down that I am. Like, I mean, I know that I have, like, the cough and stuff, but I'm not contagious. Like, I'm sick, but I'm not contagious anymore because, you know, I've been on antibiotics and stuff like that. So, I was really annoyed it's not what I wanted I was really annoyed when I went in yesterday and my boss is like you're sick like you're still sick I don't want you here I don't want you so I had to leave at five um, I worked three to five Oops, sorry and then today I come in and my boss is like, are you feeling any better? I'm like, yeah, a lot better than I was. Yesterday was just terrible. I don't know why, but yesterday felt like the worst I felt in a few days. Um, but I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling better than yesterday. You know, doing fine. And then I started coughing. And she's like, you don't sound like, ooh, girl, where are you going? I know you need pee. No, come back. <laughs> and she's like, you don't really sound like you're doing any better. I'm like, I'm fine. And then what do I do? I sneeze. And she's like, I don't think so, Kate. Like, you're just not sounding like you're, you're you're doing your best right now I'm like but I'm fine like I just happened to cough and sneeze and she's like okay we're gonna have someone call like we're gonna call someone in and when they get here you can leave I'm like but I would like to stay and she's like I'm sending you home I'm like Ugh. so I left at 6 30 today I got there at 3 left at 6 30 I was wanting to stay till like at least another 15 minutes because then it would have rounded up to four hours because I get to, I'm supposed to get to work 15 minutes early and so yeah I'm like I was trying to just kind of dawdle and hang around until you know that at least to round it up to that four hours but one of my coworkers caught me she's like Kate I think you can go home now I'm like I mean, and she's like, Kate, go home. I don't want to get sick. And the guy that had come in to, like, take over for me, he didn't want my headset. He's like, you've been sick. I don't want to get sick. Like, I don't want that headset. I'm like, are you stop? I'm not, I'm not contagious. You guys won't get what I have. Stop it. <laughs> Anyways, so Collins is teaching Aurora to talk right now. Her high chair is disgusting disgusting like this is nasty uh philip is supposed to be at work i never realized it changed to kelp oh oh he still likes veggie rolls <laughs> i think it's because he doesn't eat kelp he eats fish um but I keep trying to tell Philip to go to work to like survey the beach and he just it, like the option has gone away but it still says he's on the clock and that he's supposed to be working at the beach that he's currently at. So I'm just I'm kind of confused. I was kind of watching him earlier because there was someone who decided to um, fake needing CPR. Some old guy just fell over and 
but like kept looking up like is he coming is he gonna come save me even though he hadn't been in the water at all but yeah so I was watching him earlier but then I came back over here and and no doing this I'm not babysitting him I was gonna say for a second like Christopher looked a lot shorter I'm like is it just me or has Christopher gotten short <laughs> Is he, like, still a teen or something? And I know he's not, but... Oh, we're very luring. Let's first kiss her. Yay! And she wants to... Oh! Ah! <laughs> you know when it does that? Ugh. Why does it do that? That is so annoying. Oh, also... I have downloaded houses for these two. Uh, actually, I downloaded the, ho the house for these two. And then, or for the girls, so Briar and Rose. And then I actually decided to download the house for the next generation instead of trying to build it. Because I don't want to be on a houseboat. Uh, but I still, again, I need to be close to the water. So I wanted, you know, like a beach house. And I suck at building things with, like, the foundation. I can, I can build final foundation, but, like, building it out into the the water so i've downloaded three different houses and actually if we have time in this part i might consider placing them um i don't know why her hair is going all weird and transparent but it is um <laughs> stop it <sighs> prior is like even though she like to I don't understand why it keeps doing that every time I go into tab mode. We're totally gonna miss this. Screw it. Just won't take the pictures in tab mode. But, um, yeah, if we have time, I just want to get them to, like, boyfriend, girlfriend. Um... If we have the time, I want to go place the houses. Or not, like, the future house for next generation, but Briar and Roses. Just in case we aren't staying in the Isla Paradiso next generation. By the way, video was posted. It, it went up as, like, my Disney Likes You Challenge video of Wednesday, right? Uh, yeah, so it went up Wednesday instead of a part. And you guys can go check that out. Go vote. I was so happy I made this. I made the picture with Photoshop. So I love working with Adobe programs. I take a graphics class at my school. Um, and I love working with Illustrator and Photoshop are like my two favorite programs ever. I love both of them. Um, so I was so happy when I got... I found out that I could get photo, like all the Adobe programs for $20 a month. I'm like, heck yeah, because I didn't see that. Last I had looked, actually she's hungry, so, um, but last time I had looked, it was like $57 or something crazy like that a month. I'm like, mm -hmm, nope, that's not happening. But then my, uh, I've actually been helping my graphics teacher this summer with some of like these print jobs she had from the end of the school year. And she was telling me, she's like, well, you can just get them for $20. You're, you're a student, and so you apply for a student discount. I'm like, oh, really? And so now I have them, and I'm allowed to put it on two different computers. So I have it on this computer for, like, um, for thumbnails. And then I also downloaded it on my laptop. Now, looking back on it, I don't know why it's got the black edges. Um, like, I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> I hate that it's got, like, the black border around it, around, like, the sides. Uh, but. And Aurora just finished talking. She ages up in two days. So exciting. We get to age her up. To age her up in... I don't know when we'll age her up. We might age her up tomorrow. I don't know. It just depends on, like, how everything's going. Let's change her diaper and then we'll bring her upstairs so she can use her uh, her potty. <coughs> oh, 
Also, I sent uh, Carson out with Phil. He's swimming home. Dude, no. Just don't. Uh, but I sent Carson out with Philip. I didn't. <gasps> what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't. Christopher! What the heck? He did not like that. And she doesn't understand. <gasps> what on earth was that? Did she have to apologize to him? I was so confused. He hated that. He's like, don't you look into my eyes. Yikes. And I mean, she would have initiated it. I didn't initiate that. That would be something from her hopeless romantic trait. So, I mean, it was her doing it. But I just, ugh. I don't know what that was. Rare tiger, calm down. Okay. <laughs> Actually, you want to chat, right? Chat with Aurora. Can we do that? No, I don't know where that option went. I used to be able to chat with my toddlers all the time after they learned to talk, and now I can't do it anymore. I'm really confused. Okay, we need to get to extremely irresistible so I can propose going steady, so embrace her... Kiss. I guess he's just like, I instigate, not you. Like, that would not be a relationship I would want to be in. If the guy was like, I'm the only one who can do things. You just sit there and take it. But, no. But. Yikes. Um, tofu dogs. I am kind of going with this theory that if Philip just refuses to use meat of any kind, now that he's part, like he's a merman, that he just, he refuses to use, like, cook with fish, with any kind of meat. So he's pretty much gone vegetarian on us. So, uh, also, Christopher, when he was fishing the other day, he caught, like, a, s what was it? I don't even remember what it's called. It was a creepy looking little thing. And I put it in the fish tank, because it was, at the same time, kind of cool. And it was something we didn't already have in here. But I don't know where it is. Yeah, this thingy, the sewer trilobite. I don't know where this thing is. I feel like it's one of those kind of fish that like suctions themselves to the outside or to like the the walls. Oh. I guess we've kind of given up for the night. You know what? I can live with that. They both need to pee. So. Christopher. Maybe you go upstairs and use the bathroom. I'm not clicking on the boat. I'm clicking on the shower. Oh, Carson. <laughs> like, where is he? He's still at the beach. <laughs> See, he's got another one of these sewer trolls. But what the heck? I just want to know what the heck these things are. I feel like they're really ugly. I'm going to totally regret looking them up like I'm doing. What is this? What is this? I guess it's something like specific to The Sims 3. Because I'm not... Uh, something looks like a bug. Like a little like... Oh my lord. These things are ugly as crap. 
Look at these things! Like, this is creepy. I hate this kind of stuff. Like, no thanks. That's... I hate this. I hate this. They're all fossils. So, like, they seem to have gone extinct. But, like, oh my lord. <laughs> Just... No! No! I don't like them. No, I totally regret looking that up. Sorry, the screen went black. <laughs> I totally regret that. Okay, he's playing in the ocean, but it's not doing anything for his hydration. I don't understand. So, I'm going to tell him to... Uh, we're going to have him swim home. <laughs> this is going to take forever. Like, who... Yeah, it's going to take forever. But I, <laughs> I want him to get his hydration up. I'm not going to have time to look at those houses. <laughs> to place them and look at them. And they're so cool, too. Like, they're just, they're gorgeous houses. They're gorgeous. Um, I got them off a website. I'll have to link it down below but it's called like fake houses real awesome or something very realistic looking houses they are again just they're gorgeous uh and when i saw that they had a, like a beach themed one that was big enough for the next generation i'm like heck yeah sign me up i was considering you know building one but when I saw this, I was like, so cute. Heck yeah, we're doing this. Yes, please. <coughs> <coughs> so, I did it. <sighs> and actually, when you guys see are seeing this, I'm leaving to go out of town for a day. I get to go pick up dogs. Um, we have dogs coming to our shelter uh like somewhere that's like two and a half hours away so i'm gonna go pick up some dogs and puppies they're probably gonna bark and whine the whole ride back but it's okay i need to go to barnes and noble too i'm in ap english classes which means advanced placement uh and i have summer assignments whenever i'm in an ap english class and because of that i have to find these books for my summer assignment and I have to choose off a list well I'm choosing I have to choose three I'm choosing Pride and Prejudice which like I feel like some people are gonna be like you're insane um but I'm choosing Pride and Prejudice, Wuthering Heights, and The Handmaid's Tale and I will tell you right in here right now <laughs> I'm only reading Wuthering Heights um, Pride and Prejudice because there's a book series that I've been reading that they keep mentioning it, quoting it, referring to it, and I'm just like, what the heck are we talking about? And I just really want to know. So when I saw they're on the list, I'm like, hey, I can, you know, this killed two birds with one stone. Girl, you never want pee. She's insane. Um, but, and then I just, I've been actually wanting to read The Handmaid's Tale. I've heard it's really good. So, I want to try it, but I've also heard it's vulgar and a little on the questionable side. So, I'm a little hesitant, but I still would like to try it. So. Also, a really good song right now is never really over it's like katie perry's new song i can't like it's i find it really good i can't stop listening to it oh you have beautiful in her crib you're putting your girl to bed philip shut up you're being a musical genius musical genius i don't know why but i've been watching like a lot of saturday night live clips on youtube and i find hilarious and so, like, I love the, oh, I don't remember what it's called now. It's, like, the art sellers or something. Um, it's in my liked videos. I'm pulling it up really quick on my iPad. 
uh, the art dealers and their son Nuni. So they they constantly go like they're all named Nuni, but like it's supposedly pronounced different ways. But like no one can pronounce it like pronounce their names differently. They'll go Nuni, and you know when you say it that way, it's the wife. And then when you say it again the exact same way, they're like, no, silly, that's the dad's name. Like. <laughs> So it confuses their guests. Well, they don't pronounce anything right either. Oh, they don't. They pronounce some things right, other things they don't. And so, like, they call their son Nuni. Uh, he's a musical genius. And, yeah. That's what I keep thinking now every time I say genius. I just want to go, genius. It's a musical genius. I'll actually, I'll try and link, remember to link that down below too. Because it is, the art dealers, I find them very entertaining. And then they have another one. Um, with their daughter and her boyfriend, and his her boyfriend's name is Jeff, and the parents can't pronounce his name right to save their lives. Like, they're like, Giff, and like, every time they try and pronounce it, they say it more and more wrong, and he's like, no, it's Jeff with a J, and they're like, it's not Jeff with a K, like, K is in kite, and, or maybe that's the first one. No, I think that's the second one. I don't know. But it's really funny. But yeah. I've been watching a lot of Saturday Night Live recently. However, my timer did just go off. So, Kylie. Ky who the heck is Kylie? Was that a wife? <laughs> Zane Crystal. Oh, it was Andrew's wife. I totally did not remember that her name was Kylie. I was thinking it was like Kayla. I haven't looked at the family tree in a while. I honestly don't remember a lot of these. <laughs> okay, like for the first generation, I tried real hard with like the names and stuff, and then the second generation, I kind of gave up. <laughs> so. Rex had Patricia, and they had a lot of kids. Like, this was when story progression, like, was in full swing. Ken, Bonnie, Hannah, Sally. Okay, well, Ken, Ken Barbie doll. I mean, I didn't really give their wives, like, certain names. I just kind of went with it. Um, I just I gave them the name that I thought suited them. But Bonnie's little girl... In number three, and now in number four. I have not seen that yet, but I really want to. Hannah was Sid's sister. Sally was one of Hannah's dolls. It's like, the younger they get, the more, like, stretched the names become. Um, Buzz, married to Lily, had Molly, which is Andy's sister. Barbara, which is for Barbie. And Melanie? Yikes. I don't know what Melanie is for. I don't know what Melanie was for. I wonder if it was another one of Hannah's toys, maybe? Um, we had Trixie. Married Kevin. She's named after the blue dinosaur of Bonnie's. And they had Al for Al's toy barn. And Daisy, which was Lotso's girl, little girl in number three. <laughs> Getting more and more stretched. Peter married Marilyn, and they had Janie. I'm pretty sure that was one of Hannah's toys. And then we had Jessie, who married Andy, who was her imaginary friend. Hence where the pink hair comes from. I love how the first three have, like, totally crazy hair, and then the last four have normal colored hair. Um, but we had Aaron, who married Keely. Michelle. <laughs> Keely, I'm pretty sure, was, like, our first wife in my perfect genetics challenge. Like, our first, our firstborn, like, altogether, his wife's name, I'm pretty sure, was Keely. I think. Um, anyways, so we had Aaron Hotchner. No. <laughs> Ooh. Where did I get Aaron from? Huh? I don't remember. Oh, these are the actors' names for the Mirror Mirror movie. Okay, because I'm not a huge Snow White fan. Like, I like Snow White retellings, but I don't actually, I can't stand the Disney movie. 
I love Mirror Mirror, though, which is a Snow White retelling. Okay, so Aaron, I believe, was, like, he's... For the the old guy, right? The old guy that hits on the queen. I totally don't remember his name. The Baron? That's it, Baron. Okay, this kid doesn't look anything like him. He looks totally like Michelle. This hair color is not good. Uh, I don't... And then we named the firstborns what they were supposed to be named. Okay, okay. Yeah, so they had Baron, Nate, and Bentley. So Nate was... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who Bentley was either. Uh, Julia, which is for Julia Roberts, had her daughter Queenie, Robert, and married Zane. They don't look related at all. Like... <laughs> Like, our kids don't, look, our grandkids don't look related, like, Brighton, and, like, so when you have Sims that, like, are in a relationship, and they have two different skin tones, like, way different, it doesn't meet in the middle. It's either one skin tone or the other. And, like, that is so evident here. Because Michelle had the darker skin tone, and Baron has that, but Nate and Bentley both have bright, like, the light skin tone. Not bright, I was going to say made no sense I saw his like really bright blue eye I'm like oh no but they have the light skin there is no like meeting in the middle which is how a genetics would work but anyways so then we had Brandon who married crystals named after Brighton and had Amelia Andrew was that oh he was named after the prince and he married Kylie and had Alcott and Joe. How do you have a, like a name named Alcott and then another kid named Joe? Uh, Charlie. Was this the best friend? Like the, the king's like right hand man guy? <laughs> Marcus. Maggie was named after the baker who, named, who married Nikolai and had... Oh! <gasps> Oh no! <laughs> Guys, I just realized this! Oh no! It's okay, I have a cousin with the same name as me, but we have different last names. That's a story right there. And then, okay, oh my gosh! Guys! I didn't even realize we had two Bentleys. And I don't know if this Bentley is just a girl with the boy hairstyle, or if it's actually a boy. So if I do this, it's a brother. So we have a Bentley boy and then a girl. Guys, <laughs> okay. I need to end the part. Um, I was supposed to end the part like seven minutes ago. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll try to remember to post the, the fake... I think it's called Fake Houses Real Awesome or something like that. I'll post the link for that down below. You'll see the houses. I'll try and show them in the next part. And then I'll also post the art dealers, their son, Nuni. I'll post that down below because he's a musical genius. And yeah, so thank you guys. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.